I would appreciate your swift return, Master. A fell unease begins to gnaw at me when you are gone over long. I heard from Captain Brandt that you plan to make for Batal in order to continue your investigation. As for me, I've been looking into my mother's movements since last we met, and I happen upon this. Tis a letter she discarded, only half written. It seems to be addressed to someone called Phasus. I passed an eye over it, though I failed to grasp its meaning, or, or what compelled her to throw it away. Here, I thought it best that you have it. And if you do, would you be so kind as to share it with me? That is only if you've the time to spare. I am in no position to make demands, of course. <laughs> What is it? Have you brought me something to sate my unquenchable thirst for knowledge? A book, a child? No, a letter, is it? Let's see here. But know that tonight the moon shall again be shrouded in a veil of gossamer cloud awaiting the return of the sun's warming glow. Well, well. I'd not thought these of the capacity for such refinement. Tis a love letter of a sort. One that draws on ancient symbolism to convey its message. The moon represents a woman, the sun, a man. Put simply, what this letter means to communicate is... I miss you. Ha! <laughs> A surprisingly saccharine sentiment coming from the Queen Regent. Would you not agree? I know not who this Phasus is, though it is safe to say that Disa is rather invested in him. What concerns me is this Godsway mentioned in the first line. If we can take this letter at its word, and twas indeed granted to the Queen Regent, we can surmise that it must be something tangible, an object. As to what manner of object, however, I can only begin to guess. And I'm not one for pointless conjecture. I suspect someone of Batali heritage might be able to tell you more. <laughs> Focus. 
Chief is only just coming out. It is my duty to devote my life to free our world from fortune. What was the missive that just arrived? Oh, you know. The usual. From Vermont, bound straight for the archives. Not to be opened. Another one? What is the director up to? Well, never mind that. Did we get any other deliveries today, perchance? Surely you're not expecting another one of your love letters. Why, just the other day, you were warned not to use this address for personal correspondences. You really mustn't be so imprudent. Need I remind you? If word of our activities here was to get out, we could be shut down. Yes, yes, I'm well aware of that, thank you. Now come, enough gossiping. We've work to be getting on with. Glad I am to see you well. I've been wondering how you were getting on. Have you learned aught of the intent behind that letter? Twould seem my mother has joined hands with a Batali researcher to achieve her purpose. Which, according to this missive, is to arrange things so that I might rule the kingdom. But I don't understand. Vermont needs no consul. It's found its ruler, its sovereign, pretender though he may be. To say naught of you. Does she mean to remove you and the false sovereign both from the picture? Is that what is meant by this tragedy? Is a frightful thought, yet we are in a much stronger position for having learned of it. You've my gratitude for this. I now know what tis I must. I know not what to make of this. 